grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Here we are this week in the narthex and it looks like there's work in progress, doesn't it? This doesn't look like the warm, neat, tidy, welcoming narthex that we're all accustomed to here at St. Armand's Key Lutheran Church. Um, it looks like we're preparing for something. And we are. We're preparing for Christmas. Now I know what you're saying. We haven't even had Christ the King Sunday. We haven't even ended the Christian year yet. We haven't even begun Advent. Are we rushing things a little bit? I would say no. And here's why. Advent is a time of preparation. It's a time of sitting in darkness, waiting for the light. It's a time of being watchful. It's a very profound period of preparation. But I think our whole year so far has been a time of sitting in darkness and waiting and watching. It's a period called the global pandemic. It's COVID-19. It's, it's changed everything we've done, the way we live, the way we work, the way we play, the way we pray, the way we worship, the way we interact with each other. It has all changed and not for the better, for the worse. We've been challenged and stretched in all sorts of ways, in all sorts of directions. We are ready to see light. We are ready to experience joy. So yes, at St. Armand's Key Lutheran Church, we will observe Advent. We'll light the candles, we'll sing the Advent hymns, we'll hear the scripture readings of waiting and watching. Zion will hear the watchman's voices. But around this building, and from this building out into the community, we need to shine light and joy and peace. We need to be beacons of love. And we will do that here at St. Armand's Key by shining the bright light of Christmas out of this place and into a world that desperately needs to experience that brightness. So this coming Saturday, this narthex, the courtyard, the whole building inside and out will be filled with people who have volunteered to decorate for Christmas. This narthex will look beautiful. The lights outside will be wondrous. Even the fellowship hall will be festooned. And wait till you see what happens in the meditation garden. It is going to be beautiful here. We are preparing for Christmas. Now speaking of Christmas, you know that we normally fill this narthex with worshippers at our Christmas Eve services. The sanctuary is packed, the narthex is packed, service after service. What are we going to do this year where the maximum seating capacity, because of social distancing, is only about 77 people? Well, what we're going to do is offer worship services on Christmas Eve at noon, at 3, at 5, at 7 and at 9. Five worship services. And I beg of you, register ahead of time. Either call the church office or go on to our website, sakok.com, and register. That way we can find you a place because on Christmas Eve of all days, we don't want to be the ones that say that there is no room at the inn. We want to welcome people in. And so even though we're offering those five worship services, Michael and I and the rest of the worship team are, are still planning ways that we can let people in safely. Looking into ways that we can have extra folks with us. Looking at ways that we can say, hello, there is space for you. But to be sure to have a seat, make a reservation. So this has been a time of planning. Our Christmas decorating day has been planned since August. Our Christmas Eve worship schedule has been set for months. I think we've done a lot of waiting and watching. I think we've done a lot of preparing for the coming of the Christ child. So this Advent season and this Christmas tide, come be part of that journey of 
that preparation of that joy here at St. Armand's Key Lutheran Church. A warm and loving welcome awaits you. May God be with you until we meet again. <laughs>